Hi, my name is Paul Lavasser. This is part two of my business graduate capstone project for the MBA in Information Technology Management. In part one, I discussed the MBA competencies of team leadership and developing sustainable solutions. In part two, I will discuss customer service, managing products and services, and managing technology and innovation. It's necessary to understand the process through which customers make purchasing decisions. Between 43 and 48 percent of hospitals' total capital budgets were estimated to have been spent on information technology in 2009. Knowing what motivates them to choose one IT solution over another is essential to acquiring and retaining their business. A large expense for healthcare organizations has been the maintenance of outdated systems. Separate clinical, administrative, and executive information systems often coexist because of the difficulties of integrating them into newer and more comprehensive systems. The new standards mandated by the government, however, require a higher level of interoperability. Therefore, many facilities are changing their IT policies and the investment criteria that drive them. An important consideration for customer service is how new IT solutions will be accepted by end users. In 2009, the Standish Group reported that 68% of all projects either failed, were delivered with fewer features than originally specified, or suffered from budget and schedule overruns. This is commonly caused by a lack of user involvement throughout the development process. Building and maintaining positive relationships with organizational clients is therefore paramount to the success of IT firms. Customer service doesn't end when a contract is signed or a new system is delivered. A key thing to remember is that it is far more costly to gain new customers than it is to keep the ones that you already have. Throughout my years as a broadcast technician, it's often been my job to serve as a liaison between the engineering department and the producers, advertisers, and programming managers in charge of the non-technical aspects of our service. My communication skills have helped to put into layman's terms some of the more complex issues that exist. I've worked closely with my, custom, with my company's internal customers in sales and promotions to ensure the best possible service to the advertisers and viewers that make up our external customer base. As a technician in a field where systems are maintained and updated regularly, I have an excellent understanding of how customer service involves the integration of newer systems into an environment that still depends heavily on older legacy systems. My efforts have been instrumental to the development of more efficient and effective customer service. In the healthcare IT industry, the management of products and services is more complex than it is in other industries. Information systems are as varied as the organizations that use them. The constantly evolving regulatory and business environment has created an industry in which IT solutions must be tailored to fit the specific requirements of each organizational client. For information technology firms, managing products and services for various healthcare organizations will therefore require a considerable amount of versatility. Project management skills are also very important. The majority of products and services offered by IT firms are, in fact, the projects that are completed over the course of time for businesses. So it's necessary to know and understand all phases of an IT project's life cycle, its initial conceptualization, the development of the project charter and plan, the implementation and delivery of the system, and also the final project review. In this last phase, results are evaluated so that the lessons learned can be applied to subsequent projects at a later date. Every project and organizational client is going to have its own unique requirements. The products and services delivered are influenced heavily by the scope, schedule, and budget of every new endeavor. For management and IT firms, knowledge of these processes must be accompanied by the skills and experience necessary to follow them to a successful conclusion. One of my most significant strengths in managing products and services is related in many ways to those associated with customer service. I've benefited greatly from my experiences on the job and throughout my academic career in dealing with operational issues and logistics. In service industries, the results of one's operational leadership are immediately visible because of the proximity of the customer. Nevertheless, it's important to remember that customers care more about results than they do about the processes that go into a service. 
I've had the opportunity to study project management quite extensively throughout my career, both in and out of the classroom. I've participated in projects where tight deadlines contributed to the adoption of crunch schedules. I've also participated in projects that allowed more time for perfecting the processes as well. My dedication to the improvement of quality and to the interdepartmental relationships I've maintained throughout my career to achieve it is well documented. I have an excellent understanding of both the organizational dynamics involved in project management and the current trends of the industry driving the need for a wide variety of IT projects and services throughout the healthcare field. Technology and innovation are vital to maintaining a competitive advantage in any industry. In the field of IT, however, it's the very nature of the business. The American healthcare system has been relatively slow to adopt IT solutions outside of billing and administrative functions. The costs of implementing new systems, the changes in the workflow associated with using new technology, and the unwillingness of end users to embrace change have all had a significant effect on the adoption of health information technology. Despite these issues, the foreseeable benefits of these systems have been well documented. In addition, the economic incentives offered through the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009 to early adopters of electronic health records have prompted an explosion of, of innovative new technologies in the field over the last year and a half. Among the skills, knowledge, and experience needed for managing technology and innovation is an understanding of how a firm's products and services will be used by healthcare organizations and of how their use will affect patient and physician relationships and medical outcomes. Most systems in use today were not built by medical practitioners. This is perhaps one of the reasons why the industry has been reluctant to adopt electronic health records thus far. As an end user of broadcast automation systems, satellite receivers, and electronic news gathering equipment, I've encountered many systems for which the design was inherently flawed by a lack of user involvement throughout the development process. It's important to remember that innovation means looking for new ways to get things done. Designing smarter and more intuitive systems will require a greater level of input from end users than we've seen in the past. With a master's degree in multimedia communication and over 15 years in the broadcasting industry, my understanding of new technologies and experience in implementing them is among my greatest strengths. The changes that have occurred in the field over the last decade and a half have been nothing short of revolutionary. Having recently completed an MBA in healthcare management, I also have an excellent understanding of the regulatory environment and the information requirements of that particular field as well. The combination of my experience and education in these two fields makes me a perfect candidate for the exciting new career opportunities in information technology as it applies to the healthcare industry. This concludes part two of my presentation. Part three will discuss the competitive environment and planning for the future in the global marketplace. Thank you.